This is a lesson about the frontal slice of the brain. To check out all my other lessons, please check out my software and my website, flashbrainanatomy.com. So first, I illustrated the cortex of the brain. As you can see, the longitudinal fissure and the insula on the side. So here it is. This is the longitudinal fissure over here and this is the insula. As you can see, the insula is enclosed by the temporal lobe over here and the frontal lobe over here. So this is the temporal lobe of the brain and this is the frontal lobe of the brain. I know it's not very illustrated very good on the logo, but if, if, if it's gonna help, then it's fine. So if we, if we could just pull this down, pull this temporal lobe, this is that lobe down there, or pull the frontal lobe a little bit up there, we would be able to see the insula here. And that's exactly this part over here that is enclosed. Then comes the white matter. This was the gray matter. All the cortex is gray matter. And the fibers coming from the cortex and on, they are called the white matter. This is the medulla oblongata. This part over here is called the medulla oblongata. This is the pons. And I illustrated the internal capsule. That is the part of the white matter. It contains the ascending and descending axons. And these are the olivary bodies, the nuclei. And then I illustrated the cerebellum. I created really nice lessons about the cerebellum and illustrations. To check these out and to see my software, please check out my website, flashbrainanatomy.com. Now, let's get back to this. These structures over here are the cerebral peduncles. And right between them is the interpeduncular fossa. Then we have the third ventricle of the brain and the lateral ventricles of the brain with the fornix. So this was the third ventricle of the brain. These are the lateral ventricles. And this and this are the fornix. This was the interpeduncular fossa. Then of course we have the caudate nucleus on both sides over here and here and down there you can notice the optical tracts this is the optical tract this is the optical tract then we have the thalamus creating the walls of the third ventricle and beneath that we have underneath that we have the interpeduncular fossa the interpeduncular fossa can be seen from the outside that is not inside of the brain. To see this, check out my lesson about the mesencephalon or the midbrain. Now, as I mentioned, this is the internal capsule on both sides. And the internal capsule divides the thalamus and the caudate nucleus from pallidum and putamen. So we have the putamen and the pallidum. The pallidum can also be divided into medial one and the lateral pallidum. So the medial pallidum and the lateral pallidum. Then we also have the claustrum and the white matter between the claustrum and the putamen is called the extreme capsule. The white matter between the putamen and the pallidum is called the external capsule. And as I said, this was the optical tract. Now let's write this all down. This was the cerebellum, of course. These, these two were the olivary bodies. Then we had the temporal lobe over here. And over here, of course, there was the insula or the so-called insular cortex. Then we had the longitudinal fissure over here. Now, considering the other structures, we had the optical tract. And of course, we had the claustrum right over here. More medial, we had the putamen. 
and even more medial, we have the pallidum, which can be divided into medial pallidum and the lateral pallidum. Then we had the external capsule over here between the putamen and the pallidum. And we also had the extreme capsule over here between the claustrum and the putamen. Of course, we may not forget to write down the internal capsule over here going on both sides. It is very important. Then we had these two parts over here called the cerebral peduncles. And right between these two, we had the interpeduncular fossa. And above the interpeduncular fossa, we had the thalamus. Between two thalamus from the right and the left side, there is the third ventricle. Then we had the foramen of Monroe connecting the three ventricles. And of course, we may not forget the lateral ventricle. And this structure over here was called the caudate nucleus. This lesson is part of my compilation of lessons that come with my software. Please check out my website, flashbrainanatomy.com.